Mudrick. Chelsea in the Mudrick. Thoughts? Who is this fella? No, no. <laughs> Klopp said that this was the worst defeat of his career. 3 0. And also, <clears throat> he's been relegated. If my son doesn't support the team that I support, yeah. it's fucking. <laughs> Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back <laughs> to a Manchester Derby special <laughs> of the Premier League piss take. Oh. I'm saying that because you're not going to turn up next week. I'm not gonna, so it's pointless getting these like ready, thinking we're going to have a show a week when mm. probably not. You this is I mean? fantastic, though. We needed one tonight. We did. There's so much to go through. City losing it. Chelsea have just gone ballistic. Man United are up to, to what? I don't know, third in the Premier League or something. Second, I think. Fucking who knows? We're right up there. And there's no one above us. That's all that matters. It is a sensational time to be a Manchester United fan. Yeah, Just get into it. Glorious. Manchester United 2, <clears throat> Manchester City 1. And I can't think of anything controversial that happened in that game. No. Uh, Bruno was onside. Bruno was onside when he Correct. hit it. No, no question Bruno was onside. No interference by anybody. No one, was even, no one else was even near it. Mm. I just think, I honestly just think, shut up. Yeah. Or if you're Edison, just watch who's shooting and then save it. It's not, oh, sorry, oh, Rashford distracted. Well, don't be distracted by it. It's like saying you got distracted by someone in the crowd. Yeah. Oh, the ref distracted me. Oh, my own players distracted me. Bruno's the one that hit it. No one else hit it. Save it anyway. If you're a Kanji, just run and get the ball. Play to the whistle. Has Play to the whistle. Told you that? It's like going, oh, I, oh, I didn't realise that someone was doing a crime six miles away and that distracted me. They shouldn't have done that crime, so can we disallow it? No. <laughs> just because someone else does something bad somewhat near you doesn't mean you get distracted from your job play to the whistle yeah play to the whistle. I think that's the first time we've been at home in six years you know what I think I'd, uh, we haven't been at home in the Premier League since 2016 I believe I looked that up last week was that Fellaini in that I don't even know I don't even know what that what game was it? yeah no, no not Moise, obviously Van Gaal, Fellaini 4-2 yeah. yeah oh what a day that I think was. that's the last one what a, what a win for Manchester United one huge. point behind Manchester City Old Trafford was rocking oh Beautiful, beautiful. So you much going up. on. What? You turned up. I turned up with my dad, mm. kicking it off in style, mm. dad style, and I uh, picked him up for the second goal. Had him on my little hip like a little baby. You did? Yeah, just like that. That was like uh, Luke Shaw and Harland, didn't it? And that was like Luke Shaw and Harland. Yeah, Fantastic. Him, like, yeah. And the great thing about Pep is, obviously, after the game, he was what? Just a, a lovely, not a sore loser at all, was he? That's, he's not like that. You know what I don't get? Yeah. Come on. Look at this interview. Yeah, absolutely. I don't care the Premier League and the Carabao Cup. We cannot win. So we won a lot. So it's, it's not a problem. The guy's, you know, so early in the season. We're not even halfway through yet. I know. He's talking about he don't care about winning the league. It's ridiculous. What's wrong with him? And also, if this was any other, any other one season, point clear of us. we've played the same amount of games as we would have played in like mid-December. Mm. And you're saying, oh, that's, that's that done. Then. So really, it's mid-December. It's mid-December. And he's saying he's not going to win the league. He's just a terrible loser, isn't he? He is, Because yeah. he's won everything. And he's mm. so used to winning stuff easily because he joins the team with the best players already. He thinks, if I'm not top of the league by Christmas, what's the point? Ten Hag's got him quaking in his boots. Quaking, mate. Quaking? Absolutely quaking. Boots. We impressed by Ten Hag. Because if you look at possession and you were only obsessed with possession, you think, wow, City bossed the game. But being at the game and watching it, anyone at home, they didn't, did they? City didn't Not dominate that I game. I thought our first half performance, we deserved to be 2-0 up. Our second half performance, City probably deserved to win the second half 1-0. Mm. But we had that bit of luck. Once it went to 1-1, there was only ever going to be one winner. Yeah. Their head had gone. Absolutely gone. Heads had gone. And it, it, Pep lost it. All of their players looked like they were... Like, you br they brought Grealish on, and I know he scored the goal, but you do realise he just cuts inside and falls over, doesn't he? That's basically all it is. Do you still love Grealish the way you used to? Because you've got that glint in your eye. I do. I know when he was at Villa, you were desperate to admit you know. Jack Grealish should have joined a big club. Yeah, he should have. That's his problem. He still can. He's you know what I mean? He's joined a small club. Come, up, come to death row, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have that bold fraud smiling all up in your videos. Speaking of Jack Grealish... Look at this, Dad. Have you seen this? Woo! Woo! Yes! What do you make of that? Is that too much? Is that too much, do you think? What? It's not too much. It's close to too I much. I like it. I like it. But it's not too much. But what I have to question is, mm. if my son doesn't support the team that I support, yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> Fuck you, the geezer. <laughs> the geezer. Like, He's like six years old. I want him in the geezer. Do you know what I mean? 
Because how does how does that happen that your son doesn't support your team? I don't know. I just feel like something's gone wrong there. If your dad doesn't like football, yeah, then I, I kind of all right. I get it. Yeah. Some people's parents aren't going to like football. But if your dad likes football, and you, like you must hate your dad then if you support a different team, isn't it? Mm. Like so, you've grown up with your dad, like watching him. Oh look, he loves them. Yeah. And then you've gone. I know what. Well, really do I'll support it. the opposite team yeah not just like yeah it's not like he just supports like Birmingham yeah, or fucking Sunderland you, I'm supporting the rival to your <laughs> yeah. team that is mad that's mental it? yeah but fair enough um should we move on because what a night what a day for Manchester United what a huge game what a as huge well game. on the same day yeah yeah phenomenal Chelsea finally getting three points hey? finally. what a win for Harry Potter it seems I mean, like Brendan Potter Brent, Brent, Brent? Michael Potter uh, Brian Potter. Brian Potter. It's Brian Potter, that's it. Um, they have just gone... Graham Souness? Ballistic in the transfer window, haven't they? It doesn't even matter that they've won games because it's been such an overall loss of a weekend. Mudrick. Chelsea in the Mudrick. Thoughts? Who is this fella? No, <laughs> Bruv, <laughs> no one knows! I'm going to be honest with you. Everyone at home, yeah? Everyone at home. Let me just say to you. I'm going to be the voice for the world. Mm. We don't know who he is, bro. No. Everybody's running around Twitter yeah. acting like they know who this fella is. Uh, that's the point. That no Ukraine have gone, listen, lads, yeah. we need some money. Yeah. Let's pretend this fella's really good at football. Yeah. Build him up a little bit. Yeah. We can get a bit, few more million in. Yeah. Help us in our cause against Russia. He could easily not exist. He could easily he not exist. He doesn't exist. Because... Like you said, if you, went, social media if you went on Twitter, you would think that this guy had been like finished second in the Ballon d'Or two years in a row because everyone's oh, I'm gonna... If we're honest, no one has heard of him. Mm. No one knows him. No one's seen him play. And no one knows how good he is. Soon we're going to find out like Theo Baker and Chip yeah. made him up. As a, as a room. No, do you know that guy? Open named, Sky Sports. Do you know that, 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 that blonde guy from Vice who made the best <laughs> restaurant in, in, in London on TripAdvisor yeah, yeah, yeah. but it didn't exist? Josh Peters. Yeah, Josh Peters is going to do a video. I watched saying, a game with him during how, the World Cup. Did you? Yeah, See? me and Josh mates. He was just writing the word Mudrick down on a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. Mudrick is an invention of... Jo Actually, Mudrick is Josh Peters. If we could put a picture of him up with his little TripAdvisor restaurant that got to number one yeah. in the country and didn't exist. And he gave an award to Katie... Um, Hopkins. Bitch. Exactly. That's who that is. Jao Felix got a three-match ban, which works out when you work out there was 21 games left in the Premier League when he joined. It cost them 20 million euros to sign him. This is roughly a uh, 2.1 million pounds that they've lost from this three-match ban. It's not looking good for Chelsea, is it? How can you spend 440 million pounds since the summer and look infinitely worse than you did last season? How by, is that possible? By giving it to an insane guy to run around spending it on imaginary players. I That's know. how you waste money. Imaginary this, players. Even Emerson and Royale's Felix. having a little dig. I think Jao Felix was good the other day, just yeah. by getting sent off. He's a good player. <laughs> he is a good player, there's no doubt in that. But they've bought like five of the same player. So they've got, already got Havertz who does that job. They've got Sterling who does a similar job. Now they've got Mudrick, Felix and Kunku. Who's the other Lukaku's one Lukaku's still there on loan somewhere. Lukaku's still knocking about. People, like, look at this. Cucurella, 55 million. What? Raheem Sterling, 45 million. To me, that makes sense. He's probably worth that fee because he's been a big player. But some of these signings, Mudrick, 88 million. Uh, Wesley Fafana, 80 million pounds. What is this? You know, if all the teams in the Premier League come together, yeah. Spurs, yep. City, yep. you know, all that, United, and we start pretending we want to sign random players. Yeah. Chelsea will buy them all, waste all their money, then we can go get who we really want. Yeah. I mean, that's what's happening here, look. Mm. Tottenham fans trying to flog Emerson Royale, look. 100 million bid from Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, come on, where are you? <laughs> it's like putting a little, a little, what's it called, peanut butter on a little yeah. mouse. Mudrick track. is this generation's version of John Obi Macau, innit? Yeah. Remember that? We bought him for, what, 14 million and then, quid? Didn't Chelsea and I put a gun to his head? Chelsea have spent as much in the last six months as Liverpool have spent in the last 10 years. <laughs> Although, really? and that's not like Chelsea, Liverpool haven't wasted money. I mean, they've bought some shit plays in that time. But what is that? How can you spend 468 million in six months? That is genuinely insane, isn't it? And they're giving away like seven, eight year deals so they can I try know. and get around the FFP stuff. It's eight and a half that, years he's, he's contracted for Modric. He's mad. I know. He's gonna, what if he flops? Because obviously he will. He's yeah. like, you know, he looks like them small soldiers. Remember them? Yeah, he does. Toy soldiers. He does. Um, what, he's going to flop. Yeah. He's going to go nowhere. 
You know, so you know when they try and sell him and no one wants to give him wages? Yeah. He's going to go, well, i got an eight-year contract. I'll best just sit on the bench. got an eight-year contract. Would you remember... His best mates with Fergie. Yeah. Was it, was it Ferreira at Chelsea? He actually ended up being there like seven years longer than everyone thought he was. <laughs> he was there until like 2018. I swear they still got Josh McEachran on a 50, yeah, he's, 50 he's grand a week. There. He's still there. <laughs> He's still there. Mutu's still got six months left on his deal. I mean, I mean Chelsea... He sniffed all that, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels like Chelsea are doing what United were doing in 2013, doesn't it? Yeah. Making bad decisions, got new, new people running the game, and it's just... Todd it just looks awful, Ed Woodward and speed. Yeah. Ed, Bud Ed Woodward spending his own money. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's move on to Liverpool. Fucking, they've lost and all. What? They've lost it all! Do we even care? We don't even care about them. I don't even care about them! Liverpool and Tottenham, rear view mirror, mate. Can I just say something, though? Go on. How good was Danny Welbeck's goal? So good. Danny Welbeck did what Burkamp thought he did. Except Burkamp did it by accident. Burkamp did it Danny Welbeck accident. don't do things by accident, mate. Yeah? yeah? He the wanted to chip the ball into Nuria's hands. Yeah? He wanted to score that goal. It's just what he does. Klopp said that this was the worst defeat of his career. Three now. And also, <coughs> he's been relegated. So that saves something, isn't it? He was relegated with mines. So this has to have been awful. Brighton dominated that game. I don't know what's going on with Liverpool, but if this was any other manager, Klopp would be gone by now, wouldn't he? If he hadn't have done what he's done, he's in, like, sackable form at the moment. Yes, but I also think there's a lot bigger problems at stake there. Yeah. But what's also weird is, it comes at a time where they're actually splashing money. Yeah. And that Cody Hackpo signing is very unlike Liverpool. Yeah. They seem to be more controlled with what they do. Yeah. But that seemed like a... Ooh, Always available panic. shit, let's get him. Like us getting Donny or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's panic. And yeah. I just think, you look at them over there, Liverpool, and you see what's going on. Yeah. Greatest team in the world. Remember when they said that? Greatest Premier League team ever. For about two ever. months. And all that stuff. I know. Virgil van Dijk. Mo Salah's got his contract, now he's chilling. He's been shit since that contract. Darwin he? Nunes is running around like a Beyblade. Like, <laughs> Darwin Nunes is like, do you know if you played FIFA and they had, the card was 99 on every stat, but eight on finishing. That's what Darwin Nunes is like. He does everything so well, he gets so many chances. He's, he's just involved all the time. I think he has the most shots per night of any player in the Premier League, but he just can't get the ball in the back of the net. It's useless. Yeah. It's useless. Funny though, isn't it? It's proper funny. Isn't it funny that I'm almost too nervous and optimistic about United season that I genuinely don't care about Liverpool? Oh, no, no, no. It's not even like a ha 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 ha. We're 13 points I clear of Chelsea, care. 10 points clear of Liverpool. And we'll go 8 points clear of Tottenham if we're not game in hand. And they're fifth. It's, I honestly, I'm just, I'm, I know this is a bit, you know, new year, new me. I'm looking up, I'm not looking back. That's, the, that's what we need. I'm to. leaving that top four race in 2022, mate. This is the, the, the title challenge year. One bad. Run of four. No! And we will start. That's why we need to just relax a little bit. Yeah. 21 is coming, but let's not tell anyone yet. Huge game next week. So we can sneak through the back door. Huge game next weekend. I don't know who we're playing yet, because we've... I don't know if you've noticed... We've got a week off next week. We've not mentioned any particular people in this video. What, I don't know what you're talking about. No. I just think that Ten Hag is better than... Everyone. Ah. Uh, Everyone. Everyone. Our former manager. Yeah. I yeah. love it. I'm scared. I Are you scared? You... I, here's I'm the scared. thing. Over the last seven years as a United fan, I've been, I've, I've been sometimes excited. I've been in pain a lot, but I've never been scared. I'm scared to admit what I feel about this team. You know what it is? Because I think it might be And you everything. know what I think is the problem? What? Do you know, when I had Fergie in my life, yeah. I was a kid yeah. and I didn't know pain. No because we've never experienced it. No. So it's just, this is this Finishing is the life. second was pain back then. This is the life. I know. And now I know pain, I never want to experience it again. I know. And so it's scary. Because I remember that feeling when we drew 4-4. Four, four, We're like Macaulay Culkin in like three, the three early 2000s. Remember that? You what? 4-4. Four, four. And me, you and Jay were devastated. And we weren't oh, even really no, in a game. title race. No. We can't. No. Do you know, like, we had, the, we had the early nights of Macaulay Culkin. We were hitting Home Macaulay Alone Macaulay Culkin? One. Home Alone 2. Richie Rich. That was us. Just woke up into stardom. Home Alone 2, great. That was us under great Fergie. Christmas film, yeah. Then, sort of, early 2000s Culkin, where you never really quite know what's going on. He's gone off the rails a little bit. Liverpool That's right us. now are that Culkin. Yeah. yeah. And Everton right now are crackhead Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> Culkin on a park bench. Yeah. Everton, I mean... Culkin on a park bench. Turtle power. 
Uh, Yerimina's just, for some reason, just parked on like some road somewhere. <laughs> and he's getting, oh, he's getting a load of stick from everyone. What do you make serious. of that? I feel, look, Everton fans, I don't know what they want. Because no. it weren't long ago they were piping this owner off for spending loads of money I know. and begging for Rafa Benitez to be sacked and yeah. praising Frank Lampard for being appointed. It is a little careful what you wish for. With but it, while I also don't understand it, I think in football, the fans of a club truly reflect the fit. Like, they know yeah. the fans aren't stupid. No. Like, you know when people go to us about Glazers, what are you talking about? And we're like, bruv, we know. Yeah. And I think it's the same can be said. Everton fans know why they're complaining. And, you yeah. know, there's a big problems there. They're splashing a lot of cash. They've got a new stadium coming up. They've got a clueless manager in there. Yeah. They're barricading players into grounds and stuff like that. There was a poor little Resi. He's not even hardly played for the first team. Getting chased out of the stadium. Imagine. He's never going to want to go back again. What, what, is he, what, what are people mad at him for? <laughs> You should have played more and won it for us. Sorry, yeah, I didn't get a chance. Chasing Anthony Gordon down the road. Yeah. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Fucking hell. But this it's is this, this feels like obviously on a lower scale, but this no, I think Yerry Mean has gone. We're at the end of last season. Because it's true, isn't it? Yerry Mean has gone. None of these men are really on stuff. No. If I get out of my car yeah. and I go over there, half of them are going to want a selfie and half of them are going to just bottle it. Yeah. And all yeah. they're doing is. Shouting nonsense in his face. I, I don't get it. Put a shift. It, like he's got to go soon, though. Lampard, only surely. He's, he's, yeah. I can't believe he's still there. That's the problem. Like Lampard is useless. Yeah. But he's getting away with it because the board are useless. I don't know. He's out of his depth. He should he never is. have got the job. But you know what? He'll get sacked, and someone else will give him a job. Mm. But somehow him and Gerard just get away with it. Yeah. Embarrassing. Absolutely. And look at all the all the all the, all the pressure. Are they going to social I got put under? But all these twats. Yeah. Gerard and Frank Lampard, not half the manager is. Solskjaer did a better job um, with United than they've ever done anywhere. Yeah. Forget that Rangers stuff. Celtic bottled that league that season. It's not Gerard who did it. Mm, yeah. Forget it. Should we have a look at the Premier League table? Yes, we should. Oh, look at that. One point behind City. Newcastle just sort of loitering around because they played more games than everyone else. That's a beautiful sight, mm. isn't it? It's a good sight, that. It's a if good we win, sight. Well, how do you feel now, now we're looking at that league table, compared to about six weeks ago when we were, I think, sixth, struggling a little bit. Not struggling, but, you know, on a good run of form, but not quite there. That's looking nice now, isn't it? I just like the look of 10 points ahead of Liverpool. I know. That's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Same games, it's not even like, oh, they've got two games in hand like it has been. We've played the same games as Liverpool. We are 10 points clear of them. And we've played a game games less games than Chelsea. We are 10 Spurs. points clear of them. Yeah, and we've played a game less than... Uh, Tottenham and we're still five points And a game less than Newcastle. It's looking really good now. So we could go clear in second. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's beautiful. It's anyone, absolutely beautiful. Has anyone seen Arsenal? Oh, yeah. 